she ultimately did three shows. I was involved in making the deals for all three. I wasn't the only one involved, but I was involved with those shows, uh, which became very successful at the ABC. And ultimately, ABC bought out her interest, and they owned the show. She was so strong. She was one, the leading lady and a disciple of the, of the great lady from soap operas was a lady by the name of Irma Phillips that Fred Silver will talk about forever. Uh, and these people lived in Chicago and they worked with the ad agencies and Procter and & Gamble and all, and they did the soap operas. Agnes Nixon came from that school and broke away to her own thing and was a little bit more contemporary, a little bit more daring, and came up with terrific vehicles. Now, all I could really do was involved with it in bringing her to the buyer and develop, helping develop a relationship. She, I had nothing to do with the creation of the show. She did that. Uh, you know, in the daytime area, it was very important that they write a Bible where the show will go for the next three years. And she wrote great Bibles, and she did a lot of the scripts, and she edited, we edited a lot of the scripts. And we got a producer for her because she hadn't produced in her own. Um, and... Uh, so, you know, in, in, what one has to do is the daily problems that exist between a show and a network or an advertiser, something always comes up. Somebody doesn't like this or like that, or should we change this? So you have involvement. But basically the show runs by itself without the help of the agent. It doesn't run by itself, but without the daily help of the agent.